Hey everybody, Blaze here. Got my cheesies, got my monster drink. Uh, I'm all ready to go for the Grey Cup, but uh, just before it starts, I uh, figured I'd do a little bit of a lightsaber effect for you guys. Um, first step is you want to create a folder in DVideo, place, broadcasting, your name, and call it Lightsaber1. So a folder in Video D right now, please. Um, we're going to recreate what we did last week, and that is uh, your green screen footage. You are going to uh, green screen and mask your footage. Make sure you save it as an H.264 and uh, save it as Lightsaber Pre. Next thing you're going to do is import your new footage. It will look like this. Nicely done, Mr. Place. All right, there's Tony. Hey, Ponansky, how's it going? Um, so what we want to do is we want to scrub through to the clip to find out where we are going to uh, start the lightsaber clip. And I like it right there just because it's nice and contrasting. There's a blue, dark background there, dark blue background. And uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to hit layer, new, solid. There we go. And we don't want it to be black. We want it to be white. So uh, we could just type in F, 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 F six times. Or we could just hit right in the corner, make sure it's white. It will turn the entire screen white when we do so. So uh, here we go. White screen. When we hit OK. Don't fear. This is just going to be basically the color of the lightsaber. So what we have to do now is mask it out. So what we have to do is uh, turn the opacity of that solid down so we can see and right now we turn it down bring it down to maybe two or three and now what we want to do is we want to uh, use our pen tool and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, trace around the lightsaber okay and we're going to we're, we're actually going to uh, trace around it and uh, we're going to uh, give it a path okay so a couple of things that we have to do is Make sure we select the right layer, otherwise it'll give you a solid. We don't want to do that. And click, 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 and one more. Oh yeah, make sure you don't pull that, because if you pull that, it's going to throw everything out. So just click, click, there, boom, look at what happened there. So it gives us a really nice, crisp, white lightsaber. Problem is, your lightsaber is going to move. So what we have to do is make sure we hit the selection tool here. Boom. And now we can kind of move the mask around a little bit too. Okay, turn on that little stopwatch. Where are we here? Click, click, and click. Okay, so we got to change the path. Okay, of that mask. So right now we click one. We're on the lightsaber right there. What we want to do is probably go about three, four frames. So using um, three, four frames. What we want to do is we want to uh, move the the mask. Okay. So let's move this back here in the proper place. There. Okay. So this is going to be number one. Okay. Now when we hit page down, one, two, three, or page up, it moves frames. Otherwise, we have to use um, the next frame tool. And that takes a long time. Okay, so what we want to do is draw around. Okay, you see the the different path that it takes there. It's on. Next one. Draw around. Look at that. And it's better that you go a little bit too um, fat, if you will, rather than uh, see any of the the fake lightsaber tube. We don't want to see any of that. So make sure that your uh, mask is nice and thick. Okay, so we start bringing this down, it starts taking shape. Look at that. Okay, so this will take us a while. Okay, pull this over. So basically what we're going to be doing is moving this, and if any, you, you go through it, if anything looks wacky and off, you can always go back and change it a little bit like this. Okay, so sometimes three frames or four frames are good, sometimes they're not, so you got to go back and fix it up because you don't want to see the tube um, of the lightsaber come out of the path. That would look pretty bad. Okay, so this part is tedious. It takes a long time. Okay, 
and uh, we pull this down once and when there's fast motion on this look at that it's following it really nicely when we have fast motion we also want to also have a little bit of a, a motion blur trail behind it so watch that see how i pull it a little bit let's move in on here again here see that okay so there's a little bit of a trail behind it so that's going to make it a little bit thicker at the top there because it's it's going to be blurred out a little bit it's going to have a really nice effect okay and then you got to switch it because then uh, it's coming down and now it's going to the other side so the trail has to be on the other side there there we go and this is good that i sped up the video here okay this part right here take your time don't rush because if you rush you will not be happy in the end okay and i will make you do it again and again and again so look at that it's looking pretty good pretty good i tell you okay so um we're not going to do the whole video we'll just uh do a little bit more here just to pull it up a little bit this, when we finish this it'll represent like two seconds of, of the lightsaber see it's got the trail there a little bit beyond it look at that follows the path and we're happy okay trim the clip right to there so uh trim the clip there now it starts here so watch this look at that perfect masking perfect mask okay okay so it looks like a really good mask here look at that okay so uh, let's bring it back to uh, scrub to the beginning here hit uh, transform on your mask and what we want to do now is uh, turn up the opacity okay so now look at that lightsaber you can even see that trail there <whistles> looking good okay so it's looking good but uh, there's not that many uh, white lightsabers out there um, we can feather it a little bit too to give it a little bit of a glow just before we give it a, a color so let me backtrack so when you feather it in the mask it'll give it a little bit of a glow and you can uh, play around with those a little bit the expansion a little bit too and look what it does it gives a nice lightsaber glow look at that okay especially when it's moving fast that'll be good um, so I'll play that a couple of times looking really good uh, click on white solid because what we want to do is an add the effect okay so effect stylize glow effect stylize glow watch this now what we want to do is uh, we want to change this glow into uh, another color so where it says glow colors original colors well those that's white so we want to change it to a and b colors a and b are the colors at the bottom right now it's white and black so if we click that uh, let's give it a blue lightsaber so we'll go with like a, a darker turquoise here there we go that looks good and uh, we just want a little bit more darker color here boom so we got two lightsaber colors okay now right now it's very subtle but you can actually turn these effects up play around with the threshold radius and intensity here watch this Ooh, nicely done look at that radius ah doesn't look good but you can give it a little bit more of a glow let's see what this last intensity does and of course once we turn up the threshold here you can get a really nice lightsaber effect look at that tony you're looking like a uh, a jedi king a lord okay so um looking really good but uh, there's one more thing we can add here and that is uh, let's add one more Let me just, uh, let's go down here we're going to go to noise and add uh, noise so effect noise noise and if you look it's really crisp right now it looks good we just want to make it match the background a little bit so we just turn up a little bit of the noise okay too much but look at that okay so it gives a it uh, kind of takes away some of the quality and uh, this is what it's going to look like aha that looks really good okay so when you're uh finished that basically you know what to do you're going to render this out and uh look at that look how fast that computer is okay so um you're going to render that out as i said and uh, make sure it's an h264 make sure it's in the right file folder lightsaber one and call it normal naming conventions lightsaber master thank you very much hope you guys enjoyed 
this, and uh, hopefully it's a real good uh, great cup. We'll see you guys uh, Monday.